What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Rose's World. As always, I'm your guy, Rose. Today what we're going to be talking about is a 2018 release from the House of Yves Saint Laurent. Now they did release a version of this last year, uh, a Eau de Toilette. This one here is going to be Y, Eau de Parfum. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you today, right? And we're going to check it out. Kobe. Now I'm going to tell you about some of the differences between the uh, previous version that they released, the Eau de Toilette, and the Eau de Parfum. Now if you look at it, the box is pretty cool, you know, it's right, it's nice and like basic. As I said before, simple guy, like simple things, right? So here's the barcode, right, in the, the back of the box. Really nothing crazy, right? Whatever. We don't even fucking care about the box, right? Whatever. So here's the bottle. It's very like clean and smooth looking. I do like how the bottle presentation is. It is simple and it's sleek, you know. However, it's going to be a fucking crazy amount of like fingerprints that's gonna be on this bottle. So here's the top. I always gotta do it at an angle because the light is like super bright. Here's the sticker on the bottom, All right? Anyway, the difference between the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum is that I liked it as I do like a lot of things that Yves Saint Laurent puts out. I didn't think that it was anything sp spectacular. I did go for other fragrances at the time just because I didn't think that it was very different. Now, what I thought is that like for the, for the Eau de Toilette version of Y, I thought if you're gonna go for that one, you may as well go for the Lome Ultime. Right, like I, I thought that they're very similar. You might as well. They have similar notes, and I feel like you would have got better longevity out of the Ultima versus the uh, Eau de Toilette. Now for this one, though, uh, I haven't really tested it out yet. Right, All right, so I don't really know too much about the longevity, the performance, and the sillage. That I'll definitely get back to you. If you want to know, drop it in the comments. I'll definitely uh, let you know about it. Now, an opening on this one. Let's see. Oh. Atomizer is pretty good. Two sprays. On the top notes, you have bergamot, apple accord. In the middle notes, you're gonna have sage. In the base notes, you're gonna have vetiver and cedarwood. Now, I do like the way that this one smells versus the previous one. I do think that this is a nicer, a fresher uh, version, a stronger version versus the Eau de Toilette version. I don't feel like you know the money was worth it now um, comparing this to other scents and give you an idea if you like any of the Dior Sauvage if you like the Blue de Chanel's uh, if you like the the Lone series any of like basically the Lone series you'll like this it's nice it's fresh it, I wouldn't say that it's too much different from anything that you've probably smelled before but it is definitely something that um you know I would pick up and I'm actually gonna probably wear this one pretty often um, as I do like it now as far as like the seasons um, I feel like this is gonna be more for the fall when it's like breezy I feel like for fall for winter this is what you're gonna want I believe that it's gonna be too strong to wear for a summer it's very nice it's very smooth it's aromatic it's inviting it's it's it smells great like people around you are gonna love it I promise so um, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys get this one? What are you guys wearing as of right now? What are your new pickups? Let me know down in the comments below. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You have been blessed.